Hi students, today my topic is Brillian Jones. Brillian Jones, the electron moving in a perfect periodic potential light is can have energy values only allowed regions are called Jones. Now E energy versus V, Vs and K is shown here. That means E means energy vs potential at different uh, states k means wave vector the energy here the energy discontinues at uh, every k is equal to n pi by a that means the wave vector n pi by a at every n pi by a that means where n is equal to 1 2 3 4 and so on that is pi by a 2 pi by a 3 pi by a like that every situation the energy become discontinuous so if you observe this diagram this is a diagram x axis which is k y axis this is e now if we plot a graph in a lattice then what happens this is pi a 2 pi by a 3 pi by a 4 pi by a this indicates the energy with respect to the with respect to the wave vector this is dotted line this dotted line this is the dotted line represents energy here by looking this dotted line we, we generally assume that the energy is continuous but according to here this situation the energy is discontinued so why this process is happening here the zones are forming where that means here at this particular part it forms certain zones zones means these are allowed zones this is in this allowed zones electrons are there electrons takes place at this particular place is called allowed zones now the distance between these two energy zones the allowed zones is called forbidden energy zone now let us examine this question the energy spectrum of an electron moving in the presence of periodic potential field is divided into allowed zones and forbidden zones now cos ka is an even periodic function according to chronic penne model already told you in my previous question according to chronic penne model p alpha a by alpha a plus cos alpha a is equal to cos ka this is equation number one where p is called power of the potential well now i had to take the case study of this equation like uh, when the power of the potential well tends to infinity then becomes this equation becomes alpha a is equal to n pi because we have to divide p both sides then this p will be cancelled here cos alpha a by p cos k a by p then 1 by infinity gives 0 then sin alpha a is equal to n pi cos sin alpha a is equal to 0 then alpha a is equal to n pi then alpha is equal to n pi by a this is equation 2 now examine this same equation where p tends to 0 this becomes alpha is equal to k this is equation 3 from equation 2 and 3 we get k is equal to n pi by a k means wave vector n means order a means the edge of the lattice or the distance between two lattice points but according to modern theory k is a wave vector that is k is equal to 2 pi by lambda now equate this 2 pi by lambda with n pi by a then 2a is equal to n lambda this is equation number 5 this is in the form of Bragg's law of diffraction this is in the form of Bragg's law that is uh, uh, 2 actually Bragg's law means 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda but here 2a sin theta is equal to n lambda when theta is equal to 90 degrees then 2a is equal to n lambda we find that 
electrons traveling through a periodic array of atoms in a crystal get diffracted when they satisfy Bragg's law. In figure, at the dotted line, the dotted curve shows the free electron parabola where k is equal to minus, a, minus pi by a2 plus pi by a called first brilliant zone and k is equal to minus pi by a2 minus 2 pi by a and pi by a2 2 pi by a is called second brilliant zone this minus pi by a2 pi by a this is called first brilliant zone and minus pi by a2 2 pi by a and pi by a2 2 pi by a gives the second brilliant zone okay this is very important uh, question from band theory of solids so prepare well and uh, write the examination uh, in future i will upgrade my lectures by using uh, marker and uh, board in future future up to that time i use it to uh, give lectures like this you follow this okay this is the material this is enough for uh, first b tech students this topic is uh, this topic belongs to band theory of solids which is in solid state physics okay thank you